Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. And today I'm making my mother's meatloaf, but she used to do it in the oven, but she also used to do it on the stove and it just cooks faster and goes a little quicker. And uh, so I guess it's like skillet meat meatloaf. But um, so what I did last night was I was um, prepping up all my ground beef to put in the freezer. So I thought, well, I might as well make up these patties. So I said, well, if I'm going to do that, then I might as well make the video. So what I'm going to do is just stick the clip in of me making the patties. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I decided, and I do this a lot, is cut and peel my potatoes and put them in cold water and stick them right in the fridge, too. They, they last two, three days in there. Rinse the water when you take them out to cook them and then put fresh water and I do that a lot for Thanksgiving or holidays so you, you that's something you can do to prep ahead and then I just got some corn with my salt and pepper and butter and we use my mother always used the tomato soup um, and then we add a can of the water in there with it and so the other ingredients are you're gonna see in a minute when the next clip comes up but the breadcrumbs garlic, onions, onion powder, garlic powder, parsley, salt, and pepper. Simple, easy, and delicious. And so I'm going to make this up for you guys today. And it, it cooks so fast, and it's probably less than 30 minutes. Okay, so to make the meatballs, I have a little less than a pound, I would say, of ground beef. And I just put not too much breadcrumbs. Maybe a quarter cup. Because if you put too much breadcrumbs, it makes it too um, heavy and less tasteful. <laughs> Some pepper. Just put what you like. Salt. Oh, I took the top off of this. Onion powder. whoops <laughs> and some garlic powder and my mom used to make this um for us it's just it's basically her her um meatloaf recipe or her meat <laughs> her meatball recipe pretty much is the same um so yeah um let's get this mixed up let's see did i get a shell in there I do. Let me get it out. <laughs> yeah, a few shells never killed any of us yet. Just hope there isn't any more. <laughs> all right, so let me get this mixed up. And I usually make sure I have all the ingredients in there before I start so you don't get your hands all dirty and then you need more of something. So let's just give this a mix. And I'm going to patty these up, sort of like, you know how they do like the Salisbury steaks? And that's how my mom used to do it anyway. Oh, it looks like this was more than a pound. I might put some more seasonings in there. Hang on, guys. Let me let me put some more seasonings and I'll be... Okay, that looks a little better. <laughs> All right, I just put a little bit more of everything in there. A little more breadcrumbs, a little more parsley. So yeah, that's about you should you should want to see your seasonings so you can see if that's what you like. And don't 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 mix it too much, but you want to make sure you get um it mixed well so you don't get a big hunk of you know dry spot of breadcrumb or whatever. And then I I also have my potatoes. I, I it's nighttime right now, but I have my potatoes all peeled and put in water for my mashed potatoes for tomorrow. And then I'm going to make these up and then put these on a um, tray and just put them in my fridge. And then, oh, all right, you guys, I just messed up my video. I was going to put this clip in the video tomorrow, but now you know. And uh, this is what I do to prep <laughs> for something like this. Because um, I was just doing a video on um, dividing up my meat and how I prep it. And keep it in my fridge freezer and um, for my meatloaf 
for my meatloaf. I keep calling it meatloaf for my ground beef. There, that should be good. And I figured I might as well make this loaf and then I could stick the clip in tomorrow when I'm doing this. But they're already done up, so now you know. But anyway, let me patty these up and I'll show you. Okay, so there's our patties. I got them, I got about five. Could have made some of them a little bit smaller and some of them a tiny bit bigger, but they're fine. Okay, so I'm just going to um, put a little bit of olive oil in the pan just so they don't stick. No, not too much. There we go. And then we're just going to put our patties in there. And um, since I made these up in advance, I took them out a couple minutes early so that they're not, you know, real cold. But this is a great idea. You make this up the day before. Then that way when you get home from work, all you got to do is throw this all together. Oops, that's the camera. And you got a great um, quick dinner. So we let them cook probably about five minutes and then flip them. And then cook them about maybe four to five minutes. It depends how it's, you know, in the process. But in the meantime, I'm going to um, put the potatoes on, get the corn going, and um, make up the soup. Okay, and while they're cooking, um, I just put the whole can of soup right in here. And then a full cup, or a full can, sorry, of water. And then just give it a real good mix, and I usually add some salt and pepper. And just make sure it's all, you know, good and stirred well. <laughs> I couldn't find the word I wanted to say. And then we're just going to pour this all over the top at the end. Okay, so five minutes have passed. And I'm going to check them to see if they're ready. Let's in there and look. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm trying to do this behind the camera. Oh, that must have been in the hot spot. I try to turn my pan around so that you don't get a real bad hot spot right there. One that gets cooked a little bit more. So I turn, I move them around the pan a little bit or just turn the whole pan itself. And uh, the potatoes are almost done. I'm going to get those mashed up. And let these cook for another three, five minutes. And then we'll put the, um, the sauce in. So it's been about four minutes and they're starting to pop a little bit here. And I did turn, I it was on medium at the beginning, and I did turn it down a little bit for the second side. Just a little bit so you know they don't burn. And then we do want to keep, we want to get all that goodness up out of that pan. So what I'm going to do is try to keep about two tablespoons of grease in there. Let's see how much I think we got in there. Mm, I think there's about two. Yeah, so that's fine, and I'll just pour that all over the top. All right, so I did take out some of that grease, so there's still a little bit in there. And then we're just going to put our tomato soup mixture in. And I'm only going to put a little bit in for a minute. So that I can scrape up the all the goodies from the bottom of the pan. You guys can hear it. You can hear those goodies coming up. Yeah, so and that way there's a lot of flavor down there. See, so I scraped it all up. So now we'll put the rest on. And then I'm just gonna let these sit and cook for about 10 minutes or so, maybe 15, just to make sure they're cooked inside and that just all the flavor gets in there good.
let it come to like a little boil and then we'll just let it simmer for a couple minutes okay so it just took a couple of minutes for it to come up to a boil two three minutes and now i'm going to just turn it down to low and let it cook for the next seven six seven minutes okay look at how good these look and see it reduced a little and they look delicious so they cooked about nine minutes and then now they just cooked another 10 minutes in the sauce so they should be done but i'm gonna open one up and check just to make sure okay so yeah don't those look delicious okay so let's get this plated up okay so our plates already looks delicious smells delicious and I cleaned as I went, so everything's all cleaned up except for um, the pan um, that I cooked the mashed potatoes in. And I just wanted to show you. I just made um, did those up a little bit before the um, patties were done. And then kept tin full on it or the top to the pan just to keep them warm. And then, you know, set your table, get your drinks ready or whatever you normally do. And then that way you can get all the mess cleaned up. Get your stuff all ready, plate it up, and then you just sit down and relax and enjoy your dinner. And then after dinner, you'll just have your plates and glasses to wash. So, this looks amazing, guys. And um, some people in our family, there were six of us, like to put the sauce right over their mashed potatoes, too. I never liked mine like that because I just love these, you know, mashed potatoes. They're just my favorite potato in the world. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, mm -hmm. so let's go in there, guys. And let's take a bite. I'm sorry if my hand's shaking, guys. I'm a diabetic and my sugar's a little low, so <laughs> getting through this video has been kind of tough. <laughs> Too much information, but I know. But look at that. Mmm. Ooh, mm. and the corn, I already tasted it. I put salt and pepper on it and butter mm. in the beginning, and it's just so delicious. Season it up good. Look at that. Yum, yum, yum. So I hope you guys give this a try. It took us less than 30 minutes to make. Prep it up in advance. And this is how... um. My mother and I would do our meatloaf as well in the oven. Same thing, same process, but just in the oven. So, if you guys are new, subscribe. And if you already think you're subscribed, please double check and make sure you're subscribed. And click that little bell. Helps you to know whenever I upload. And because YouTube's been taking away some of the people because they think they're no longer um using their youtube channel or for whatever reason they, they're doing this but i hope you guys subscribe and if you like this video give me a like click the like button and see you on the next one guys and be blessed